if you ever wanted to be a snake charmer, you know, play your little flute, have a snake erupt from the ground and immediately trying to kill you, well, then you're going to need this old rusty beat up piece of metal hunk called the Madra's Whistle. You blow in it and a giant snake emerges to try and eat you. But if you're quick, light on your feet, and aren't scared of snakes jumping out the ground to try and kill you, you might be able to get it to hit an enemy. I haven't been able to. I suck using this thing. I'm not sure why they call it a special hunter tool aside from the fact that it's a suicide weapon. So, without further ado, this is PS4 Platinum Hunter. I'm Hunter. Let's get to hunting a weapon. I'm going to show you how to get this. I already have it, so we won't be doing the fights. But we will be showing you exactly where to go, how to get it, who to talk to, and what all you need to do to try and kill the guy to get this item. Let's head on over and have some fun. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to want to go to the Forbidden Woods Lantern. It's quick, easy, fast, and it ain't going to take too long to get to it. <sighs> Um, if you don't want to do the skip, that's fine. You don't have to. It's whatever. I'll show you how to get there without the skip. The skip is pretty easy. I actually use it pretty much every time I have to go through this accursed place. I swear, PlayStation, could y'all have longer loaded loading times? It's like I can go make dinner while I try and load into an area. Alright, so as soon as you summon in here... You're going to want to actually go and open this shortcut here. Really easy to do. Shut up, crows. I go across the bridge. Don't worry about these guys. Step on that trap. Just keep running. So, what we're going to want to do... We're going to follow... Really, follow the trail around. Don't worry about them. They're... They're not just harmless. It's hard for them to actually kill you. Oh yeah, that's the carry. That's where the skip is, by the way. If you want to know the skip, let me know down in the comments and I will go through how to perform the skip. It's relatively easy. It's one of the easier skips in the game. Um, not extremely easy, but you can learn how to do it in maybe 5-10 minutes. Alright, go through here. Cut to the right. I believe this is the way to go, the legit way. Don't, uh, don't swear by that. Yes, it is. Alright, so the skip actually should just jump down right there. That hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. Heal up. Heal up. This is also the way to go to get the church cannon. We'll go over that later. <clears throat> Come in here, you're gonna drop down. Uh, draw to avoid a little bit of damage out the door. Avoid this guy. And you're really gonna come here and take a U turn. Run up the hill. And here's a shortcut. Now, uh, there's normally an elevator here. Let's go ahead and get this down and hope the snake dude don't decide to come in here and kill us. And we will be going after Madara's whistle. Open up the shortcut. And you're gonna be looking for the NPC called Valter. Valter. He is normally right here. He is the leader of the league, I believe. We can go uh he actually gives you a specialty carol rune if you you know, swear allegiance to the League. But what you want to do is, if you've played through the game, you've probably picked up five vermin from killing prey, or you don't get it from the nightmares, but from killing prey and pretty much killing stuff in the game, you'll end up with five vermin. If you haven't, come talk to him, and then you can go slaughtering some stuff to get some more vermin. So, vermin, if you need to get them, uh, there's a bunch of ways to get them. First, you can get them by completing a successful co-op session as a phantom 
while using the impurity room, which is the one that he gives you. Once you talk to him and join, it'll be the impurity room. You get a boost to your max HP during co-op. Kind of nice if you've got a really high HP build. Uh, if you're not a member of the league but complete it, you may receive one. Um, I think that's why I actually got one of mine. Play with a buddy of mine. Um, you can complete the challenge dungeons as a phantom while wearing the rune. Which is pretty quick and easy if they've got a simple chalice dungeon. You can go through farm vermin up very quickly. There's three old hunters in the hunter's nightmare that do drop them. Uh, they don't respawn, so you can get three of them. It's a pretty easy way to do it because it's three out of the way and then you'll get two from killing bosses, no problem. Uh, you've got one that's up on the rooftop where the player, where you come in at the gate square before you reach the Nightmare Grand Cathedral. Uh, he does have a boom hammer, so be careful. Um, there's one at the Beast Hunter's safe. I don't have the DLC, so I'm not going to be able to show these off. That's why I'm actually reading out to where they are. Uh, and then you can fight one at the Nightmare Church downstairs where you can get the Whirly Gigs off. And then uh, Vermin can be obtained by slaying Ludwig with Valter Summon, provided that he actually lives. He has to live to get the Vermin. Uh, it can also be attained in the same way by having Valter survive the fight with Lawrence. So this is actually doing the quest line. The other way is to come in here. Valter is going to be right here. Kill him. He's going to drop this piece of headgear. Actually, it would probably be easier for me to find it this way. The Master's Iron Helm. He's going to drop that. As soon as he drops that, pick it up. You're going to walk outside. Ignore the crow. There's going to be... Crow? There's going to be a hunter that spawns in and comes around right here. You have to kill him. And once you do, you get the Madara's Whistle. And this is what the Madara's Whistle does. Yeah, you don't want arachnophobia. Not arachnophobia. But uh, a fear of snakes. Sorry. But this is what it does. And this is why I say this is a suicide item. Because if you accidentally get hit by this thing... That's a chunk of HP you just lost. But let's see if I can actually catch somebody in it. Oh, you like to be easy to catch in. It does a fun ton of damage. It is a weird item. I'm not sure what its intended use was for. Because it's not to unlock anything else in the game. But, this has been the uh, Platinum Hunter's Guide to Bloodborne, Madara's Whistle. Remember guys, if you've survived this long through my atrocious friggin' videos, I know, I'm not good at this, I'm new. Hit that subscribe button down there, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload another video, letting you know how to Platinum a game. Right now we're doing Bloodborne, next up, not sure what we're doing. But uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button. Still helps. Comment down below what item you want me to do next. And I'll be seeing y'all then. Later, guys.